Today we'd love to talk to you about the latest evolution of one of the most popular Gakota watches, the C1 Chronograph Generation 2, available now. Since it was introduced way back in 2017, the C1 has quickly become one of our most popular watches in the Kokota collection. Our aim with Generation 1 was to create a modern, obtainable timepiece that captured the charm of 60s and 70s design, but is framed in a modern case with modern, reliable watchmaking techniques. Since then, the watch received an update, with three more variations being added to the range. It's fair to say Generation 1 solidified itself in Kokota watch's history. With this in mind, the C1 Generation 2 builds upon the success of the original C1 and portrays this classic Kokota piece in a new way. Featuring bold dials, a fully polished case and a refined vintage design language, this piece sits right at home in any collection. To run through the features of the C1 Generation 2 properly, it's worth looking at the Generation 1 to directly compare the two. The first noticeable evolution is the case, which, although it remains at 42mm wide, is now fully polished throughout. The lug to lug distance of the watch is 48.5mm and because we've used a cushion case, the watch is framed nicely on the wrist, meaning the size doesn't feel overpowering. Staying with the externals of the watch, we turn our attention to the crown. Each new variation of the C1 now features a gold coloured inlay and surrounding of the tube, just adding a slight touch of warmth. The Gakota G on the crown is now embossed rather than etched. The sapphire is now double domed and the case back is also a simplified domed design. Now to the main focus of these watches, the dials. This is where the majority of our time and effort has been spent, really refining the watch to reflect a more finely tuned, vintage styled design language. The hands have evolved to be thicker and wider than generation one. They're more representative of the eras the watch looks towards for inspiration and have a real presence. They still feature super luminova but now the addition of a thin black line throughout really assists the legibility and unique style. The subdials of the watch have slightly shifted in their look to now reflect the same shape as the watch's cushion case, as well as sitting further apart on the dial, effectively making the most of the dial's real estate. Speaking of subdials, the right hand one now keeps track of seconds, so it's much more useful in normal day to day wear. The use of colour has also changed. It now features more consistently and coherently throughout each variation. We've also updated the tones of these colours to more accurately represent the 70s. There's quite a few subtle changes on the watches, which together have a big impact. I'll quickly run through those with you now. The font for the tachymeter scale has been updated to feel more sporty and more appropriate. The seconds markers on the track are slightly longer, subtly bringing the appearance of the dials down. The position of the loom plots for the indices is now right on the end, meaning there is space around the start of the indices for further additional uses of colour. The indices are now shorter and subtly wider. A crosshair detail now effectively brings the dial together. The addition of quartz chronograph on the dial balances out the centre of the watch. The chronograph hand has been updated to a more unique vintage racing style. The Gakota logo now has a tick underneath to help frame it. The date is now complete in red text and the placement is now slightly lower on the dial. The movement powering the Gen 2 is the Miyota 6S21 chronograph quartz movement. This is a solid option for the Generation 2 as it means you can still enjoy the benefits of accurate quartz timing with the appeal of a chronograph hand that ticks like a mechanical one. The new C1 Gen 2 chronograph is now available with three dial colours, black, blue and white, costing £349. The three new colours available each have further unique details, so head over to the site to check them all out. We'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.